Hey everybody, chapter nine was a time of learning and understanding. It seemed that I could kind of understand how God worked in my life. I could look back and I could see that all of the trials and the experiences I'd been through had taught me different things like forgiveness, gratitude, positive thinking, and being able to trust in God. These were attributes that helped me through each trial that I was going through, making it easier and easier, even though the trials were different and some of them hadn't changed. Things got easier though, and I could see that the times that I had followed the promptings that God had given me, they had helped and resulted in amazing blessings, like the CD that I had for Little Miracles, or just feeling peace when I realized how negative focused I'd been. I realized that I wanted to have those blessings that came from doing what God wanted me to do. So some of those promptings that had been nagging at me <laughs> were things like getting my food storage done and being able to read my scriptures a little bit more consistently. So I decided to put a more concerted effort into doing some of those things. Well, as I began to work a little bit more on my food storage, it turned into <laughs> more of a an interesting experience than I thought because I ended up deciding that I needed to make a program to calculate my food storage and figure out how much of each item I needed. I'm really careful with money and I didn't want to spend money for something that I wasn't going to use. But anyway, through a whole bunch of experiences that I do share in the book, I realized that I actually liked programming. I liked using those principles of computer programming and understanding and and my dad was a computer programmer and it was something that I didn't really like and I didn't want to be a computer programmer. In fact, I didn't want to have anything to do with computers and even told my husband that when we got married, but he ended up becoming a computer uh, consultant. He's a netware guy and anyway, I was ending up looking like he, God wanted me to be a computer programmer. And I didn't like that idea. I wasn't sure that that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do music. But with everything that I'd learned, I had this desire to do whatever God wanted me to do. And so in some kind of a sacrificial way, I, I thought, okay, if God wants me to be a computer programmer, then I guess that's what I'll be. And I put aside my music and I just decided to just focus on, on doing the computer thing and Thankfully, it was not very long before I found a blessing that my dad had given me from years back. And in it, it said that I would share songs that would touch people and would bring silver linings to other people and inspire hope. Well, at that time, I had my sheet music website and I had shared a lot of choral songs and piano songs but I hadn't shared very many songs that I'd written that were vocal. And I'd written a lot of personal songs, like Sometimes It Takes a Trial and Reaching Higher and some of those songs I'd never shared before. And oh my goodness, it was so much a wonderful feeling when I realized I was still gonna do music. And in some ways it was like, I just, it was a test to decide if I was willing to do what God wanted me to do. And I felt like I passed. <laughs> And what was cool is when you decide to give something to God, which to me was my will in giving up what I wanted to do what he wanted me to do, he gives us amazing miracles and blessings right away. I wasn't expecting it, but what happened was I wrote a song for Young Women's. It was heard by Sister Dibbs from the... She's the President Monson's daughter. She was our speaker and ended up that she wanted me to sing it at the Relief Society building up in Salt Lake City. And I got to sing this amazing song with all of the women from the general women's organization. I, I just remember Sister Beck putting her arms around me and meeting all these general presidencies of the young women and Relief Society boards and primary boards. It was, it was the most amazing <laughs> experience ever. But that wasn't it because then afterwards, a lady was speaking at BYU Women's Conference and asked if 
if I would share the song at the BYU Women's Conference, which we were happy to do that. And it ended up that I was able to make the CD, which was by God, my God, and, and put the song on it to be able to be sold at BYU during the conference. I actually had this sold at the BYU bookstore, which was such a thrill for me. And you know, miracles happen. We never know what's gonna happen, but we can trust God that if we do and follow those promptings that he gives us, it's not to make us miserable. Yes, he gives us tests sometimes, but we learn things from the trials we go through and we learn things that help us to know more about God. And I was learning so much about him and, and learning how much he loves us because when we do what he wants us to do, they bless us. It's not for him, it's for us. And that's been such a blessing in my life. When I work with people and, and they're sad about things that are going on, I always want to know what their relationship is with God because he's the one that can get us through the hard things. He knows what we need and he will give us blessings when we follow the inspiration and promptings that he sends us. So I hope you guys are having a good day. And if you're feeling a prompting, you know what to do. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Bye.